So that would mean uh, x plus y plus x plus y. Because remember, you have to do the full, you have to do the full outer perimeter here. Okay, and that'll equal 62. You should get 2x plus 2y equals 62, which is uh, x plus y equals 31. Is that kill you guys? Alrighty, <clears throat> next one. Area is 198, so what's that? Length multiplied by width is 198. So x multiplied by y is 198. Just get y on its own, y equals 31 minus x. And then to finish this off, you're gonna have a 31 minus, sorry, you're gonna have x times 31 minus x equals 198. And then 31x minus x squared equals 198. All you guys know how to finish that off, don't just, it's just a quadratic equation. Get the two x values, get the two y values, okay? You can do that later on, don't worry about that now, okay? Everybody cool with moving on? We pretty much have the hard part done, all right? Let's get a bit more difficult here. All right, I think, go on, how would you do five? Let's, gotta show you a quick cheap trick as well. There's another cheap trick here as well. If you throw this into your calculator, 12x minus x squared, you can sort of, you can sort of check roughly where your answer is going to land. So if I just go from 0 to 20 as an example, check for 25 on the on the y-axis. See, 2 is 20 and 3 is 27. Do you see that? That means your answer is somewhere between 2 and 3. And if you go down again, uh, there we are. It has to be in between 9 and 10. So when you do the minus b formula, you know your answer is in between 2 and 3 and 9 and 10. And if you don't get those answers, you know you're wrong. You know what I'm saying? So what you're going to have is s is 25 equals 12t minus t squared. Move it all to the left. You're going to get t squared minus 12t plus 25 equals 0. You're going to have an a value of 1. A B value of minus 12 and a C value of 25. Then you're going to do the minus B formula, so you're going to end up with 12 plus or minus the square root of minus 12 squared minus 4 times 1 times 25 all over 2 times 1. And uh, what did you get, sir, in the corner? 9.32 and 2.6a. As predicted, yeah? All right. Oh, sorry, odd. Sorry, my fault. Uh, consecutive odd integers would have a gap of two. So odd is one, three, five. You can see there's always a gap of two. So the first integer, let it be x, and then the second integer could be x plus two. Somebody else, for some reason, could choose x minus two and x plus two, and it still works. Oh, sorry, and plus x. That would still work as well. If somebody came along and said x plus 2 and x plus 4, that would also work. But each method has a different x answer. You just have to adjust what the two numbers are then, okay? So just start off with x and x plus 2. You should be grand. Word product means multiply them by each other. So when you see product, you multiply them by each other. And 4 times their sum. So 4 times their sum is multiply... Four by what happens when you add them together. <clears throat> Which side is bigger, the product or four times the sum? Four times the sum is bigger, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on one over here to balance it out. Another person might have just taken away one on this side. It's the same thing. Do you recall what you want to do? Also, I know is that the right side is bigger than the left side, so I'm going to put the plus one over there. Okay, now you're going to get x squared plus 2x plus 1, and this is 2x plus 2 in here, so it's going to be uh, 8x plus 8. Multiply it out, we're going to get x squared minus 6x minus 7 equal to zero. And what do we have here then? 
x minus 7 and x plus 1 equals 0. x equals 7 and x equals minus 1. Now, is either answer ruled out? According to the language of the question, does the state they have to be positive? No? All right. So if I use 7, what are my two answers? If I use 7, what's my two answers? 7 and 9. Check your answer. What happens when you multiply 7 by 9? What's 7 multiplied by 9? 63. Add 7 and 9 together and what you get? Multiply the answer by 4. 16 times 4. Does that fit the description of the question? That when you add them together and multiply by 4, it's 1 bigger than D when, when you multiply them together. What's my second set of answers then? Not 7 and 9. What's the other two? What's your second set of answers? Minus 1 for the x value. And what's, what happens when you add on 2? 1. All right, let's see if this works. Does it work? Okay. Multiply them by each other, what you get? What's minus 1 times 1? Minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. What happens when you add them together? What happens when you add minus 1 and 1 together? What's 4 times 0? Zero? 0. Which side is bigger? 4 times them added together. How much is it bigger by? 1. Does that fit the description of the question? So both answers are correct. All right. Now, all right, this is going to be easy. All right, go to 14. If one side of a square is doubled and the adjacent side is decreased by 2, the resulting rectangle has an area of 60, 96 centimeters larger than the original square. Find the dimensions of the rectangle. So you have a square. And then you double the length of one of them. So I'll double the length of the length and then I'll decrease the other one by two. So this is x times x. I recall that. The original square is x squared. The other one gets doubled to 2x, but the width is now x minus 2. What's the area of the second one then? It's 2x by x minus 2, which will be? 2x squared minus 4x. Okay. Which one's bigger, the rectangle or the square? Not by eyesight, but by description of the question. The rectangle's bigger, isn't it? How much bigger is it? Yeah, so what I'd say is that the area of the square plus 96 equals the area of the rectangle. Would that make sense? All right. Let's move it all over one side and solve it. Yes. Oh. It doesn't say it's four times larger. You want this to be what? What you want to be four x? No. So zero on this side x squared minus 4x minus 96. I think it's 8 and 12 is what you're looking for there. One answer is illegal. You've got to tell me which answer it is. Uh, I got x equals 12 and x equals minus 8. Which answer is not allowed? Have I got full marks? Why not? It wants to know the dimensions of the rectangle, doesn't it? So what's that then? 12 take away 2? 10. 2 times uh, 12? 20. So 10 and 
24. Is that okay with you guys? Good job. All right, next one on our list. We have the world's greatest cheat here. What is the world's greatest cheat? The function mode in your calculator. Point one. X squared minus 1x. I can get a real gist for what's going on here. Plus uh, 2.5. Would you agree it's all positive x values? Yeah. So I don't even know what to do. I'll just go from 0 to 10 to begin with. See what the crack is there. Let's see what happens. That makes sense. That's 0, 2.5, doesn't it? 1, 1.6, 2.9. Is there, what does it say? It's the answer is, it says it starts 1.5. Yeah. Do you see 1.5 on that list? So it's somewhere in between one and, whatever grades in between one and two somewhere. Yeah. When it's 1.5 tall. Next thing we're going to look for is when is it three? So when do you think it's three meters tall? Let's keep going. Oh, it hits rock bottom, huh? When does it hit rock bottom? Five. That's great, I know that's five. That's five zero straight away. That means this must be going up in two, four, six, eight, ten, and I reckon when it's five meters above the ground, or sorry, when it's three meters above the ground, it has to be somewhere between 10 and 11, let's find out. Just so it helps explain what's going on. Uh, it would have been 11 had I gone far enough. I'll just end at 12 instead. Let's keep going. Keep rolling down. And you see that in between 10 and 11 across the three point barrier, doesn't it? So here's all we have to do. Just solve the equation. Calculate the distance between the two platforms. You basically want to, calc you want to get the x value here. Everybody see, we want this green X value here, and we want this green X value here, and then we want to calculate the distance between them. Everybody cool with that? Just lob in your H value and do the minus B formula. For the first one, H is 1.4, 1.5. Solve it using the minus B formula. The second one, you're going to use H equals 3. Once again, solve it using the minus B formula. This exercise goes up to 17, right? So you guys are going to do for tonight, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 15, 16, 17.